Hey guys, it's 734. Time for the CBSN Minnesota morning update. Glad to have you with us. Uh, you ready for a weather forecast? Have you been hoping for a little bit of a warm up, maybe to get out there and hang those Christmas lights or uh, do those, uh, you know, spruce tip boxes, whatever you want to get done outside. Today's your day today and tomorrow. Good days for you. Uh, pretty mild out there. Yeah, our high temperature will be about 50 degrees. Windy though. So if you're getting on a ladder today, either be like, you know, a little beefy or have someone hold the bottom of it because it's going to be very windy. Did I just use the term beefy describing physique on the CBSM Minnesota Morning Update? That's a new one. Uh, but, you know, as a beefy guy, I feel like I have standing in this uh, discussion. Tomorrow will be... Uh, similarly warm, but less windy, so that'll be nice. Let's talk about Thanksgiving because look, all day online today, everyone's going to be going off about the COVID restrictions that the state is going to put into effect uh, and announce tonight at six. And I thought, like, do I want to ask you what you think should be locked down or shouldn't be locked down? And I thought, well, that's just going to get people mad. It's just going to get you mad. Do you want to be mad today? You can make a choice. Do you want to be mad or not? Oh, you do? Oh, well, how about you get mad about side dishes for Thanksgiving? Why don't we roll some beautiful side dish footage? Oh, most popular Thanksgiving sides all around the state. I wish we had like, oh yeah, there you go. There's some turkey. That looks real appetizing, doesn't it? <laughs> what kind of sides are this? What sort of Thanksgiving did we show up at for this, this feast? Ugh. Look at those yams. Oh, this is like the grossest, saddest Thanksgiving meal ever. Yeah, oh, here's your sweet potatoes. Here's your yams. Uh, Google did an analysis uh, of searches, to see what people search for, and here you go. Minnesota, mashed potatoes. It's because we're Googling looking for everyone's tricks, right? How much milk to put in, how much butter? Do you strain it? What, do you use a ricer? Do you use a masher? What do you, do you just use a fork? Do you just pour it out of the box? These are, how much sour cream you put in there? Yeah, all right, these are tough questions. North Dakota, uh, potatoes, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois. Iowa goes for corn. So boring, Iowa, like of course. We grow corn in Iowa. What we want for our side is corn. Don't you have enough corn down the, there? Mix it up. How about Indiana deviled eggs? How pretentious. Is that a side? That's like more of an appetizer. I like the Southern mac and cheese. Maine goes with side salad. Who is Googling side salad? Like, what do you need to know? I feel like whoever compiled that just put that in there to troll us. So we wanted to know from you, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? What is the worst side dish? And what's like your secret weapon side dish? Where it's like, okay, it's not the typical, but it's always a crowd pleaser. Is it jello salad? Leave a comment on the WCCO TV Facebook page. We'll share through some in a moment. As I mentioned, Governor Tim Walz is expected to announce a new round of restrictions tonight. It could include the pause or delay of youth sports. We know uh, that the state says those have become one of the top sources of COVID outbreaks in Minnesota. Nearly 780 cases linked to that. Weddings connected to 933 cases. Stop going to weddings, people. Stop it. Gyms at 747. New rules also expected for bars, gyms, and fitness uh, centers. So youth sports, bars and restaurants. We'll see what the governor says at 6 p.m. this evening. We'll cover it live on WCCO and here on CBSN Minnesota. When it comes to testing for coronavirus, when 10 people go in and get a test, one of those 10 is testing positive. That's high. That's a high rate. We we're hoping to have that closer to 5% or lower. So officials around the country are sounding the alarm. Look at the hospitalization rate. That's the big thing, right? Like the strain on the hospital system. If you get a case and it's mild, that's a you problem. If you have to go to the hospital and there aren't enough beds, and if you have a heart attack and you don't get treatment quickly because other people are in those hospital beds or in those ERs, that's a wee problem. 73,000 people hospitalized with COVID-19 on Tuesday. Cities and states cracking down, issuing new restrictions. Dane County, Wisconsin, which is uh, Madison, 
The governor banned all indoor gatherings. It's over. In Ohio, a nightly curfew goes into effect tomorrow. The governor of Iowa, they've been very hesitant to issue a mask mandate. They did it. In New Orleans, canceled Mardi Gras parades for the first time in 42 years. So whatever restrictions come here in Minnesota come against this national backdrop of other states cracking down as well. The FDA has just approved the first rapid at home COVID-19 test that also gives results, right? It's rapid. It's going to give you results at home. Uh, this is good, but don't get too excited about it. Uh, this is how it works. You see like it's got a ready and a done and a positive negative light, kind of a color change indicator there. Uh, it's from a company called Lucera, and it, it requires a prescription. So, like, are you, what's the circumstance, I guess, that you're going to get a prescription for an at-home rapid test as opposed to the saliva test? But it is a big step in the science and in expanding testing here in the United States. We did report great news this week on Moderna's COVID vaccine. Have you seen this? Have you seen who we should thank for this COVID vaccine? It's Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, parts of her body are a tribute to the power of medical science. She donated $1 million to Vanderbilt University, which took part in Moderna's vaccine trials. And so when you look in the notes of the preliminary report of the vaccine, there's a shout out to Dolly Parton's foundation. She is really an American treasure. What she has done uh, after uh, hurricanes and tornadoes, just amazing. Amazing charity. What a heart. You always knew it. You always knew it from her music. Uh, but she's putting her money where her heart is. And uh, Dolly Parton, just the best. Some news breaking just within the last hour or so. The Federal Aviation Administration said that Boeing can go ahead and put the 737 MAX in the air again. Uh, are you going to fly this, though? Are you ready to fly the 737 MAX? It's been grounded for two years, had a pair of crashes, killed 346 people. American, the only U.S. airline so far to put the MAX back on the schedule starting on December 29th. Amazon getting in the prescription drug business. Soon you'll be able to have Amazon Prime kind of deliver you your prescriptions because Amazon has its own pharmacy now. This is a big shakeup to the pharmacy business. Amazon will accept most major insurance plans. If you're on Prime, you'll get free two-day shipping. Amazon Pharmacy also really discounting prices. We'll see if it sticks. It's kind of what they do, though, right? 80% discount on generics, 40% off brand names. It's available in Wisconsin right now. Amazon Pharmacy has to get licensed in every state, so it's not in Minnesota yet. Wait for that in the coming year. I know you have been dying to know who is the sexiest man alive for 2020. So many great choices. I give you Michael B. Jordan. He's sexy, right? What's that look? Is that, that's like the sexy man look? Hey, I am the sexiest man alive. Deal with it. You know him from Black Panther and Creed. Great actor. 33 years old. Says the honor is cool feeling. That's it? Like if I were the sexiest man alive, I don't know that that would be the quote. Well, first of all, I would demand a recount because that's preposterous. But Michael B. Jordan, very sexy man. The issue hit stands on Friday. All right, let's get back to day, today's talker. What do you think Michael B. Jordan eats as his favorite Thanksgiving side? Side salad, maybe? Got to keep that broccoli. <laughs> That's how you get to look that good. If you want to look like this, you eat all the sides, all the sides. Kimberly Zeppelin, dad stuffing, the absolute best. We have a bit of a stuffing debate in the Derusha household. Uh, Alyssa's mom makes a, 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 oh, what is the nut? It's a nut. It's a stuffing that has a nut in it. I don't know why I'm blanking on it. The recipe is even on the WCCO website. It's one of those big nuts that, like, you have to crack. It's, like, enormous. Chestnut. Chestnut stuffing. And then I just like the regular stuffing. All right, Kimberly, thank you. Brian says, where's the cranberry sauce? Uh, do you guys like the real cranberry sauce, or do you like it in the can? I like both. I like the real sauce, but I do like the little jiggly can thing. I think that's good. Linda says stuffing. I think stuffing is the number one, but maybe people don't Google it because you're looking at like some little car. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> uh, Sarah Patron, I want to hang out with you. That's my kind of side right there. 
I'll have a side of wine with my turkey. Judy. Judy. Judy's in here commenting every day. We love you, Judy. Thanks for watching. Uh, dressing, cranberries, any kind of veggies. Yeah, the kind of the, you know, we're in, we're in the good fall veggie season right now with all the squash and the root vegetable. Ooh, Diana, apple mellow yam bake. Oh, that sounds good. Yams, apples, walnuts, brown sugar topped with marshmallows. Maybe like take a kitchen torch and like kind of s'morify those marshmallows, roast them a little bit. Oh, sounds good. Thank you guys so much. I am so hungry right now. So hungry. It's your fault. Your fault. Uh, have a nice day. Have a good. Uh, try to chill out today. Don't get too mad about whatever the restrictions are. It's going to be fine. We'll get through it together. We'll have a small Thanksgiving and we'll be back stronger uh, next year, right? We'll see you tomorrow for the CBSM Minnesota Morning Update.